23rd Sunday after Pentecost, Year A, from the book of Joshua, you are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen the Lord to serve him. In the name of the Lord we serve, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Serving God is an uphill battle. From a spiritual standpoint, our readings for this week advise us to begin our promised service of God by taking stock of our shared advantages. We start by recounting in the book of Joshua and in our psalm the praiseworthy deeds and the power of the Lord. Our leader in this spiritual battle is a formidable strategist, known for having made a way where no way is apparent to others. But there's more to it than that. Paul's letter to the Thessalonians reminds us that we have the hope of reunion in Christ with those who have come before us. Indeed, we will be the reinforcements brought in at the last to refresh the efforts of the front line. And we also have the advantage of forewarning. Like the wise bridesmaids in Jesus' parable, we know that the bridegroom is likely to be late, and we know that we are prone to drowsiness. We know that we have sworn, taken up our role as bridesmaids in order to prepare enough oil, enough of the healing love given to us in the person of Jesus Christ, that the shining of our lights may light the way of others who hasten to come to the wedding banquet before the door has been shut. Let us therefore take heart, knowing ourselves well supplied, well accompanied, and well led. For the battle that lies before us is the battle to stand fast in the day of judgment. On that day, the accuser will lay before us all that we have been and all that we have done. It's not going to be easy for any of us. Let us therefore take the advantages that our Lord and Savior has given to us. Let us now practice the way of repentance and preparation so that when the day of judgment comes, we may stride uphill with our lanterns brightly lit, seeing the obstacles before us and overcoming them with God's help until we come at last to the kingdom that our Lord has prepared for all his beloved children. In the name of that same Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.